Hey everyone, welcome back to channel Solex. So today we'll be painting our very own sneakers and with stencils for the first time. The items we'll be using today are some paint, some brushes, a hair dryer, acrylic finisher by Angelus, a nail polish remover or acetone, and some cotton swabs. So before we can start painting on the shoe, we will have to use the nail polish remover to remove the outer surface of the shoe so that the paint can properly stick and adhere to the shoe surface. Make sure to get every corner of the shoe that you are planning to paint on. I started by applying a thin layer of coat and using a hair dryer to blow dry the paint after every layer and I repeat it 3 times so that the colour is consistent. So to fix any mistakes, you can either use acetone or the nail polish remover to remove any stains or use a white paint to paint over the layer that you've painted wrongly on. As for this case, I will be using the nail polish remover to remove the blue stains that I made. I noticed there were some parts along the shoe threads that were difficult to paint over with the big brush that I was using. Hence, I decided to use a smaller brush to paint over those threads. It's finally time to look for some stencil designs online and print it with the Quicut Maker machine. This clip took many ticks as I've never used a Quicut Maker machine before. This is how the stencil looked like after weeding out the parts that we are going to paint over.
there were some sips of paint into the stencils as the paint that I was using was a mixture of many different brands which didn't work as well as I thought. So I am now going to use a white paint to cover up my mistakes. For this design, it was really difficult to keep my hands still to paint the outline but overall, I really liked the feel of the unevenness and you can say I did it on purpose. Finally, as I'm going to wear these shoes out, I will be using the Angelus Matte Acrylic Finisher which will help to protect the shoes in the long run from wear and tear. Time to see how the final shoe looks like. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just watched, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let us know what you would like to see next. Oh,